Here we are at South Station, so you can see behind me the historic train station at the heart of the city and going up above it, a 51-story mixed-use tower. As you can imagine, being built over the busiest train station in the city provides us with ample challenges. It's a pretty complex building. It's going up over the busiest train station in the city. Tens of thousands of people walking through every single day coming through that station. Public areas down on the ground floor, retail space, office space, and then residential going above. It's kind of a landmark project in the city, definitely a, a challenge to build. Structures sitting on what's called LBEs, low bearing elements. So they're deep foundations that go down to bedrock. They had to demo the existing platforms back away from the building to be able to excavate and then install these LBEs. As we walk around the corner here, we're gonna see the, uh, the new kind of grand entrance to the public space there. These arches that you'll see are sitting on top of those LBEs, load bearing elements. Part of the challenge there is like moving foot traffic around the area because you just took away half of the platform and then you're having to redirect people, you know, away from trains to get into the building. They had to reroute electricity, it goes from the building to the trains. So they had to move switch gears and then demo the electrical room. Things like uh, high pressure water lines that were servicing the sprinkler systems, that all had to get rerouted. You have utilities that come up through the building, sewer lines, electric lines, HVAC. They all need to fall within a certain place inside the building. They need to be placed correctly relative to the exterior facade of the building, what wraps the building. This building has some complicated geometry in the facade, so the importance of getting that control to stack, have that plumb line through the building, is what makes it possible for the curtain wall to come together and make all those complicated corners and look like a seamless line up through the building. Feldman's been working on this project since 2006, provided existing conditions and located structural elements for the design team to work off of so that you can build this tower over the existing structural elements that were placed back in the 80s. The design team designed the new steel structure for this building to land on those. And then we provided the control to say where those columns get placed so that when all this gets put together, you can plumb the columns and everything just kind of comes together like Lego. It's really gratifying to see that whole process, you know, come to fruition, to see the vision completed. Just really grateful to be a part of that process. I hope you enjoyed our tour of some of the high rises uh, in Boston. As you can see, Feldman is helping to build the Boston skyline.